Hello all, welcome to rotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we upload value set values using REST API. In earlier discussion, we have discussed about how do we upload using a CSV file, but in this session, we'll discuss about how do we upload a value set value using a REST API. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create a value set. So because the REST API, the REST API which Oracle has provided does not have a functionality to create a value set. It has the functionality to get a value set value as well as to create a value set value, but it does not have a logic to create a value set. So the first thing is we have to nav we have to create a value set. And assumption is you like uh, you have to navigate to a particular application task and you have to create a value set. And then what we can do, what we have to do is like uh, there are a couple of get functionalities such as post functionality which are provided. The first thing is how to be validate whether a particular value set is available or not. What you can do is you can just use this particular REST API. So in our screenshot, you can observe here, we have we have performed a get operation, like uh, the fusion ERP URL followed by the URI of your value set. So here, as per the Oracle documentation, it mentioned to use a value set ID, but we have to use a value set code. So here, if you observe whatever the value set code we have mentioned, use that particular value set code instead of value set ID, and you just you can just validate the get operation. So this is how we can validate a get operation for a value set. And similarly, if at all, if you want to get all the value set values for a given value set, what you can use, what you can do is you can use this particular REST URL, REST URI, and it provides you the extraction of all the value set values for a given value set. And how do we create a value set value? So this is how we can create a value set value. The same URI, so the next thing is you have to mention the operation as post, and also the value you have to mention in a JSON format. The only parameter it required is just a value followed by the value set meaning or whatever the value you want to mention, just mention that particular value, that's it. So this is how we can create a value set value and how do we validate? Let us, if you want to validate the value from a BIP report, what you can do is you can just use this particular query. So you just need to join this couple of table and our value set name is this one. And you can see the flex value is this one. What are the value which you mentioned while inserting it that will get stored in the flex value column. So we can let us see that one by one. So the first thing is how do we validate a get value set? So now this is a value set name we have paused it and we created it and you can just when you click on send it provides the result of it okay now what i'll do is i'll try to create a new value set so i'll navigate to setup and maintenance click on task list search manage application core value sets Manage application core value sets. Click on this particular plus symbol. Now I'm creating a new value set. So I'll just mention XX para new VS. This is my new value set name. And select any module name. I have selecting application common. Validation type is independent. Data type is character. And the value subtype is text. And I'll go with the maximum value as 150. And click on save and close. Make a note of the value set code. I'll click on save and close. Now what we do is the first task is we'll try to validate whether our value set is available or not. What I'll do is I'll just perform a get operation on this particular new value set. So when you click on send, it has to provide a response saying that what is the value set name and what is the information about a value set. Now try to get the value set values. As of now, there are no value set values, but you can still perform the get operation. Click on send and you can see here the count is zero. As of now, there are no values in this one. Now what I'll do is I'll create a value set values for this particular one. So now I'll use a post operation to create a set of values for this particular value set. And I'll mention my new value set name. And here I'll just mention the value as flex value. As let, us lay, let us say I'll mention BIP reports. I'll mention BIP reports, okay. Okay. Consent. Now, what we can do is you can also validate from the front end as well as you can also validate from here. Click on search and you can click on manage values. You should be able to see the latest value which we created, the IP reports. And we can try one more also. Let us say, I'll say smart view reports. Click on search. Yeah, this is how we can get created. And you can just see about this record. 
which was created just now fa 0 student now let us say if at all if you are having a file and if you want to invoke the set of rest type if you want to invoke the rest API a couple of times you can just use the runner functionality in the postman so we have already have a session on postman how to be call the rest API periodically by using a CSV text file okay you can try that also you can for loading the bulk set of values in, using a rest API okay so this is all about the functionality of creating a value set value using a rest API in Oracle fusion thank you